Greetings. In this video, we're going to be going through exactly how to get Stripe webhooks connected to your Bubble application. What does that mean exactly? Well, Stripe has a bunch of events, uh, and these happen whenever anything happens in Stripe. So like a subscription is created, customers created, customers updated, subscriptions updated, deleted, all kinds of events. You can set up what's called a webhook, which is essentially just um, a, a API call that is made from Stripe to any destination of your choice with that event data. So if I open up my Stripe, I can show you what this will look like in the end state. I have a subscription here. In my bubble database, I have, well, it's this specific subscription, um, this great email with a great email address. Uh, it's an active subscription. And if I were to cancel this in bubble, like the, so, this is sending out a Stripe webhook to Bubble, and my Bubble workflow is going to process that webhook. And if I click this refresh here, this subscription status should say canceled. So if I click refresh, it says canceled. That is done through Stripe webhooks, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to get that set up. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you get into your Bubble application is go to your settings. And in your settings, you wanna click this API tab. We wanna enable workflow API and backend workflows. Make sure that checkbox is checked. That will unlock the backend workflows section in your pages. Go ahead and click that. And then I think else wanna create a new API endpoint. I'm gonna call this one like a update subscription, let's call it. And then I'm gonna have it run without authentication. And then what we're gonna to do to make it easy on us is we're gonna detect a data request. So click this detect data button and copy this link. And then you're gonna to wanna to open up your Stripe account and then add a new test mode endpoint. So you click developers, webhooks, and then add endpoint in the top right here. Smack that uh, endpoint that URL you copied in here, this initialize API. And then to replicate what I showed you at the beginning of the video, we're going to do subscription.deleted and subscription.updated. Uh, th because they have the same exact payload, um, we can roll them into the same one. If you were doing something like invoices, like if you wanted to track whenever invoices are paid, uh, you can, you'd have to make a separate endpoint. You can't just put all the Stripe events in a single webhook and expect it to work. Okay, so once you get this created, you're gonna to wanna to click this send test webhook button. This is going to initialize our data. So you see here, update subscription was initialized. If we open up our bubble application, you can see we now have request data that came in with all the good stuff here. This has all the data that we're gonna to need to do our work. And then what we're gonna to wanna to do is build out a workflow that syncs up the subscription status. So we can track things like uh, when subscriptions get canceled outside of the Bubble app. If you wanna track within the Bubble app, you could use the bill flow embeds or some other way to do that. So let's go ahead and make changes to thing. That thing is gonna be a user. So we're gonna search for users and we're gonna add a constraint to this. Because we're using Billflow, we were able to get things like the Stripe subscription ID and the Stripe customer ID really easily. Uh, I recommend keying off the subscription, or the customer ID, I'm sorry, because uh, you could, a customer could have multiple subscriptions. Um, so you can't always just have a single subscription ID attached to a customer. The customer ID will generally be uh, more accurate. So we're gonna say Stripe customer ID is equal to the request data's customer. All right, and then we close that. We just pick the first item that comes back. And then what we're gonna to wanna to do is because we're gonna, we have the subscription status that we're tracking. It's gonna either be like active, trialing, canceled. Uh, we're gonna make it equal to the request data's status. So this status represents the status of the subscription because um, you can actually see here, this is the payload that was sent uh, and the object in this event is a subscription type object and the subscription status here can, is gonna be what we want to actually track this, know when a subscription gets canceled. That's the big one, whenever like a payment fails, trial expires, all that good stuff. 
So that's that to that. Now what we just need to do is, uh, oh, there's one thing. Once you actually have this set up and you wanna start testing, what you're gonna to wanna to do is make one change to the Stripe webhook. Uh, because Bubble has you run a initialize to detect the payload at the beginning that when we sent that test and you saw the thing show up, we're gonna to wanna to delete that slash initialize at the end. That way we're sending real data to the real endpoint instead of the, uh, the initialized endpoint will just throw back errors because it's already been initialized. So we're gonna to wanna to make that update to delete the slash initialize at the end. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and try and uh, cancel something outside of the app. So we have here a customer, uh, a customer that's on a $500 a month plan this is the uh, Billflow subscription portal. We could cancel it uh, within this application. So we could go here and cancel it and then it would show up because it's connected to Billflow. But let's say he was on a trial or his payment failed and his subscription gets canceled. That's something that's not gonna happen within your Bubble application. That's something that needs to happen, that's gonna happen outside and you need to track it within Bubble. So uh, if we go into our data, app data for users, I have here a Subscription status active. We're gonna just gonna try this test Stripe webhooks guy and uh, we're gonna cancel his subscription. So let's go ahead and pull it up. So it's gonna be this one here, test Stripe webhooks. I'm gonna cancel the subscription within Stripe. So this is outside of bubble. I'm gonna click cancel here. And it should, if everything goes right, I'm gonna click refresh data and it's gonna show up as canceled and we're basically done. Uh, there's one last thing, which is if you're ever going to go into production with this, you need to recreate your Stripe webhook in test modes, in live mode, I'm sorry. So when you want to go live, you want to uncheck test data, uh, create a new webhook, and uh, basically just point it to your live mode version, because your live mode is going to have a slightly different URL, uh, as you can see in your settings here. And see, this is version test. You basically just want to replace uh, this part of the URL with your live mode part of the URL. It's not a huge change, but it is uh, need to be done to go live. Uh, but uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Contact me on Twitter at bsears underscore, or just uh, contact us through the Billflow website. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, have fun connecting your bubble to Stripe. Bye bye.